Hey y'all, I'm just getting myself together, but welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are new here or you've stumbled upon my channel, go ahead and check me out, check this video out, and then consider hitting that subscribe button. While you're at it, you might as well hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every single time I drop a new video. I'm EVE and this is The M Effect. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I zhuzhed up my setup a little bit. I hope that you guys like it. I'm kind of excited about it. So, um, yes, today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet. So I got a couple new fragrances in for fall. You guys know that I'm being just a little bit more intentional with my fragrance purchases. So I have two fragrances that I want to share that are new to my collection. But before we dive into that, I have an oil that I am so geeked about that I want to share. All right, so these nourishing body oils are from Blanc & Noir Skincare. And so I saw this tagged on Simply Aisha's Instagram page. And what even drove me to even want to consider and try it was so they do inspired by scents. I also believe they do like original scents, but this autumn vanilla is inspired by Altair from PDM. And if you guys watch one of my last videos, I talked about how my Altair bottle is like close to empty. And so when I saw that, I rushed to the website to see if this was giving Altair vibes and maybe I could like stretch out until I get my new bottle. Y'all, can you see the dent on this? I've had this maybe two and a half weeks now, you guys. I absolutely love it. I love, 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 love it. So in the order, this is the main one that I was going after. Um, but I also picked up, this is White Peach and Musk. This is inspired by Valaya, Valaya. Y'all know how much I love me some Valaya from PDM as well. Now to me, uh, Autumn Vanilla is about 98% spot on to Altair. White Peach and Musk is about 87 to 90%. This one is more muskier, but I definitely get Valaya vibes. But nevertheless, I love them both. I love this one. This is giving me Altair oil. And I, of course, love pairing this with my Altair fragrance. But you guys, this is good. And I definitely will be repurchasing again. This is obviously not sponsored or anything. I know everybody is into Brown Sugar Babe and I do want to dive and explore Brown Sugar Babe as well. The only oils that I'm familiar with are from Skin Potion. You guys know I love Skin Potion down, okay? But I wanted to try this out because specifically Altair was the inspiration. So I two thumbs up would suggest if you are interested in trying out other oils, try them out. Like I said, I'm going to go back on the website and re-up on this bottle and grab a couple of other scents as well because I do enjoy how this feels on my skin. All right, so like I said, I have two fragrances that I've added to my collection for fall. Now, I wouldn't say that this is considered a haul video. So I'm gonna coin this Fly Girl Fall Fragrance Edition, okay? And what I mean about that is you guys, I am encouraging all my girls, all my girlies, okay? Every girly here that is watching this video, you are a fly girl. All you have to do is put in effort into your appearance when you leave the house. Now, I know during this time of year, it's easy to get caught up in your sweats and your Uggs and a messy bun and call it a day. I'm with that too. I'm with that too, but you guys, I have found that just putting in a little bit more effort into what you look like when you leave the house makes a world of difference. Not only for how people perceive you, but how you feel about yourself. And this is not about being vain. This is really about pouring back into yourself and showing yourself a little bit more love because it is so easy to get caught up on all the stressors of the day, work, family, all the other obligations that you might have going on, looks tend to take a back seat. Now, I'm not saying that you have to throw on a full face of makeup, put on a full outfit, or primp your hair down like you're going out for a date night. I'm not saying any of that. What I am saying is be intentional with the things that you put on your body. Be intentional with your how you present yourself when you go out in public because essentially perception precedes you, all right? So all of my girlies watching this video today, I want you to know that you are a fly girl, okay? And once you have accepted that realization, 
you throw that ish on and you pop out, all right? Now, after you've popped out on them, you need to make sure that you're smelling good, okay? And that is why I am here to bring you a couple jewels. Now, these two new fragrances I feel like are fly girl appropriate. When you pop out, you are going to pop out on them looking good and smelling even better. So first up, we have Sugar Leather from Unwe Nomad. Now in my fall video, I did talk about Jardins de Mitzvah and how I wanted to explore more from the brands. Um, actually a year ago, uh, when I did get that fragrance and I went home, my sister had a discovery set from the brand and we did get to play a little bit, but the offerings were mainly from their fresher side, not necessarily from the deeper fall centered side. So I picked up a sample of this, you guys. I fell in love with that sample and I knew that I had to pick up a bottle. So I picked up the 50 mil bottle, so excited. And so once I got my first full wear of this, again, I was excited. I was in love. But it kind of reminded me of something that I already owned. And I, at first I couldn't put my finger on it. So this fragrance says sugar leather. It has cinnamon, it has caramel. I believe it has like a resinous note, but it also has leather in it. I feel like the name is a little bit deceiving because the leather aspect of this fragrance, I don't get any of that. I'm not a huge fan of leather like that. I, me and leather don't vibe like that. But the sugar part, she is sugar red, okay? And I love her. She's not doing the most in the sugar department, but she's doing just enough in the fall department, if you know what I mean. I absolutely love this. So like I said, when I got my first full wear of this from this bottle, I was like, this reminds me of something that I think I already have. So I'm going through my collection, kind of sniffing and snooping and seeing, what does, what does this remind me of? Herod from Parfums to Marley. You guys, they don't smell the same, but they are definitely related. While I find this one to be a bit more, this plays more on the aromatic side. This definitely has presence. This plays on the aromatic side when I'm comparing it to this. This one's a bit more creamier, a bit more deeper, and slightly more refined, but they are very similar in what they get off in the air. I do believe that this, this definitely has cinnamon in it as well, but I do believe this also has labdanum in it. I believe labdanum is also captured in here. I'm not for certain there, but y'all, these remind me of one another. I'm in love. I'm not mad about having them both, but do they smell similar to me? Yes. Exact? No. They, but they are definitely related to me. But this is a gorgeous fragrance, perfect for this fall season and perfect for my fly girl. Okay. So let me also add that I am not a huge fan of cinnamon. And I think that's why I adore this so much because it has just the right amount of touch of cinnamon in both of these. And so I'm also running low in this one. So it is nice that I do have this to kind of weight off the fact that, you know, I'm headed to empty in this. So I also need to reup. I absolutely love this. I don't talk about this one on my channel enough. Gorgeous, gorgeous unisex scent. I know it's in the men's bottle, but women can definitely wear this. But if you feel like this is a little bit too masculine, you can for sure check this out because this is also unisex, honestly, but this is again, a lighter wearing to me when I'm comparing both of them. And I absolutely love this. So excited to have this in my collection. All right, so the other fragrance that I'm so excited to add to my collection is Miss Donna Karen, and this is Cashmere and Palo Santo. Y'all, she is Fly Girl Fall. This is the perfect fall centered fragrance. This is gorgeous. It's ambery, it's vanillic, it's a little bit spicy, a little incense-y. So that Palo Santo mixed with that cashmere, oof. Not only can you get cozy and cuddly with this, but this calls for, I need you to pop out and show them what you're working with, okay? She is so good, so good. And I've been wearing this for like the last two days because I just can't get enough of this. I love the dimensions of woodiness and the sweetness and a little bit, just a tad bit of creaminess. I don't get a whole lot of creaminess in here, but there is a fruit note, I think peach that is on top. 
Y'all, this is so pretty and I love, love, love cashmere in any of my fragrances. If it has cashmere in it, it has my antennas up. Like I'm intrigued, I'm interested. I wanna know more. Now I will say the wearing on this is not the longest. This will give me about a good, I wanna say about five hours or so, maybe 5.5 max. Now this doesn't have a huge projection. It's more of a mid to personal bubble. So within that five, five and a half hour span time, I wanna say once you get to about hour four, then it comes even more personal, even more closer to the skin. But you guys, I'm not complaining. I truly appreciate how this wears and how this just gives you the fly girl fall vibe. It elevates the mood of fall, if you will. And I don't know if I'm truly articulating that well, but you can't go out and not feel good when you're wearing Donna Karen, okay? Now, I do wanna note that when I got my first wearing of this, I also felt like this was similar, not the same, but similar to something else that I had in my collection as well. Ombre Magique from Maison Sur. Now, again, they don't smell the exact same, but there is a relation to both of these. There is definitely a relation that I get. This one wears deeper, heavier. So this one is definitely great for nighttime wearing, date night, what have you, perfect. But they can definitely be layered together, paired together. They are related. They, in my book, they are related. Now this also has a fruit offering in the opening, but it's Mandarin, whereas this one has peach in the opening. Outside of that, I think vanilla is the only other similar note. This one is just a bit more resinous, but they both have this kick of spice that is so similar. And like I said, they definitely can be paired together. I just wanted to notate that, that once I wore this, it just reminded me a whole lot of this. So you can definitely layer them if you have them both. Now, I absolutely love when a designer fragrance is done well. And my friends, this is done exceptionally well. And I got this on a bit of a sale from Macy's. They're doing their, I don't know if it's friends or family or pre-holiday sale. I don't know, child, but I also had like a $20 coupon at Macy's. So a uh, little less than $150. I think that's the retail price for this, but good buy, good price, and even better scent. Hey y'all, so I'm tapping in this already recorded video because I have a couple more things that I wanna give my insight on. So excuse this addition to this video. Now, you guys know if you watch me and you watch my vlogs, in one of my latest vlogs, I unboxed a new fragrance and I felt like I should go ahead and include it in this video as well because it is new and it's it would be appropriate for the fall as well. It's more of an everyday wear to me, but most people would probably categorize this as a special wear. And this is Kayali's Silk Scent Hall, the wedding scent, you guys. This has been a highly sought after fragrance because it was limited edition and all the girlies have been raving about this, you guys. And I am so glad to hear that Mona has decided to make this a permanent addition to the collection. That was probably necessary from the jump, so I'm glad about that. But I'm adding this to this video, you guys, because I also feel like this is a fly girl fragrance as well. When I unboxed this in my vlog, I was a little underwhelmed because I was expecting something so profound based on just all the reviews that I heard and saw. And I was just a little bit underwhelmed based on the expectations that I had. But once I gave this time to settle down, because when I got this, it was very, very warm. But once I gave it time to settle down, I played with it for a little bit. You can already see that I have a dent in here. Look at that dent. I still don't feel like it is everything that I had heard, but it's, it's a beautiful scent on its own. I'm stripping everything that I've heard about this and just making my own judgment on this fragrance. It is a very beautiful fragrance. Is it my number one pick from Kayali? No, it's not. But it's one that I'm definitely happy to have in my collection. Now, the reason why I also wanted to come back in and tap back in with some commentary is I'm seeing that this is being compared to Cashmere and Palo Santo that I just talked about. Uh, uh, they could be from the same lineage, you guys, but um, no, it, no, it's not 
No, it's not a one for one. It's not if you can't get your hands on this, get this. No, they're in the same lineage, but they're not the same fragrance in my opinion. I still stand 10 toes down on what I said. That one is closer to Ombre Magique from Amazing uh, Sir, in my opinion. If you have that, please compare the two and let me know your opinions. But those two are more aligned to smelling alike than that in this fragrance. I can see why this would be a gorgeous wedding scent to wear, you guys. The vanilla in here is beautiful. The sandalwood in here is beautiful. There's a, a just a soft, ambery touch at the bottom. I do enjoy this very, very, very much. I kind of wish that they had a 100 ml bottle so that I can, you know, really dig into the wear because I feel like once I get to a point where I've gotten enough air in here to allow it to macerate, because maceration, is the magic in all of Kaoli's fragrances, in my opinion. But I feel like if I had space of a bigger bottle, I would really get the true wear once it has like, you know, that oxidation maceration aspect to it. But I feel like once I get halfway, it's already time to pick up another bottle. And I just wish they had a bigger offering. But nevertheless, you guys, I do feel like this is a fly girl fragrance. And if you haven't tapped into this, get your nose on it. So this is Silk Centaur, The Wedding Scent. Okay, so since I came back on, I had to come with an honorable mention for my girlies, but not just for my girlies. This is for my guys too, okay? My fly girls, my fly guys, the guys who do watch me. This one is for you too. This is a unisex gem of a fragrance. French Defense from Mind Games. I have talked about this. I've talked about this in depth, I believe, in one or two videos, but I mentioned this in one of my latest videos here recently. You guys, if you don't hear anything else from this video, I need you to hear this. If you don't like cherry, try this. If you do like cherry, try this. If you want something to just blow your nose off, okay, maybe this won't blow your nose off, but it is very intriguing, y'all. I cannot get enough of this. Where's my dip? So I am mindful of my sprays because this is expensive. And granted, I did not pay full price for this. Thank the Lord, heavens above. I caught this on sale, but I do not want to go through this quickly. So I do reserve this fragrance for a little bit more of a special outing. Like I wouldn't pull for this just going to the grocery store. I have to preserve as much juice as I can because this, y'all, every single time I've worn this, compliment. Compliment, compliment. And honestly, I don't really wear my fragrances looking for compliments. I wear my fragrances because they make me feel good. I am into what makes me feel good, what makes me look good, what just puts me together, y'all. And this scent right here, I cannot get enough of this. This is a love. This was love at first sniff. It had me at hello. Just all the things, everything good is in this bottle, y'all. The cherry in here is the standout note. It's alluring, it's decadent, it's absolutely, it's a wow factor of a cherry for me. I don't like cherry like that because it goes bitter, it goes sour, and I just, I, it doesn't vibe with me and my skin, it doesn't vibe. Now, I also mentioned that Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, that's another gorgeous cherry fragrance. I do enjoy that one, but I am not willing to pay for it because it has, lackluster you know performance but this one right here you all i can't get enough and i just had to come back on here and sing its praises but this is completely unisex girl get your cherry vibe on guy get your cherry vibe on it's ambery it's vanillic it's a little spicy y'all this is perfect for the fall. this is a standout for the fall definitely for date night but in the fall baby mm, mm. Mm -hmm. So French Defense is my honorable mention. This isn't new to my collection. I've had this, but I am savoring every last drop of this scent because oh, I am that in love. Mind Games, people for Mind Games. If you were watching this and if you ever needed somebody to help promote this fragrance, your girl is right here. I, I am right here, okay? I Sign me up, hook me up with another bottle because I definitely want a backup of this. But in the meantime, in between time, until that happens, until that happens, I am minding my sprays because I want this juice to last as much as possible, as long as possible. But y'all, 
Let me stop ranting and raving. French Defense, if you haven't gotten your nose on this, I need you to try this out. If not, go ahead and find you a sample. Um, there are various sites. This is also available in Neiman Marcus. I want to say Saks too. I'm not for certain, but definitely Neiman Marcus. Get your nose on it. This is an absolute gorgeous scent from the house. And I just I had to come back on and talk about this one. All right, you guys, so quick video. I just wanted to share what I've added to my fall arsenal and to remind all of my girlies that you are a fly girl, okay? Being a fly girl doesn't mean you're wearing the most expensive fragrance or the most expensive clothes. Being a fly girl means that you are loving on yourself, especially during this season of fall. Put that ish on and pop out, okay? So until the next time, you guys, I will definitely see you all.